we all understand that. None of us can appreciate the idea of an eternal torment. But I think what uh, Dostoevsky said is to me one of the most moving ways of saying it because he'd lived such a life full of gambling and hell. He said, to me, hell would be a place with the inability to love, uh. where I cannot love. Uh. He said, that would be hell. Now, why is it that those who today cry out for justice in the inner cities where they feel so much hurt and pain and one of them gets full of bullets, why do they cry out for justice if justice is not a good thing? Uh. We cry out for justice because we believe it's a good thing. Uh. And when we're on the wrong end of a decision, we want justice. Uh. It is not a case of Old Testament God or New Testament God. Uh. If somebody d hurts my family member yeah. and does damage, I will be at the door of the court of law every day till justice is done. And so a young man who gets f killed or whatever, the people are out on the streets, they're calling for justice. Justice is a good thing. Uh. If it is not a good thing, evil has conquered. Uh. Hitler slaughtered tens of millions and then he shot himself. Is that the end? Uh. Why not live that way for all of us? Why not I break in and steal? Why not I take copyrights? Why don't I steal somebody else's music and put my name to it and then when I get caught, finish it off if there's no justice at the end. If I just am going to go to heaven, it's an irrational distribution of responsibility. It sounds good. C.S. Lewis said there are two kinds of people in this world, those who bend their knee to God and say to him, thy will be done, and those who refuse to bend their knee to God and he says to them, thy will be done. So you either have it God's way or you have it your way. I would sooner believe the words of Jesus than the words of Tupac, <laughs> because Jesus lived a perfect life and alerted me to the reality of heaven and hell. What we wish and what we pronounce has to be based on what is true. If I didn't, I'll tell you this, Emmanuel, if I didn't believe in the reality of hell, I don't think I'd be in this ministry. <laughs> it is not just the longing for heaven it is the legitimate shunning of pain, uh. which is what he hell, hell to me is the absence of God. Uh. And it's not enough to say it happens in this world. What happened to Hitler in this world? Uh. What happens to many in this? There are, there are murderers running free today about whom we know nothing, and they'll never get caught. They are quite happy to be doing all of the crime. Why not go and have a shootout after a funeral if there is no hell? But on the other hand, if I'm told by my mother, don't put your hand into that flame, it will burn. It's a natural law at work. Uh -huh. There is a spiritual law at work too. You determine to live apart from God and you will spend your eternity precisely that way. Uh -huh. I think people who like to make such moral pronouncements are really moralizers, but they're not moral people. Uh. They make moral judgments on these matters. God is holy, God is omniscient, God is omnipotent, God is just. If mm. God weren't just, we are living in a miserable world mm. for the future. Justice, said the Greeks, is the firmest pillar of good government. Why do we have courts of law? Why do we have laws because we seek justice at the end. And mm. so those who deny and end justice, I would rather believe the words of Jesus than believe them. Mm.